Hello YouTube, what is up? Commando here with a video, obviously. Um, sorry about my nasaliness, I'm a little sick. And sorry about the quality of the video um, in terms of camera holding and stuff. This is going to be a quick and dirty little video, just doing an unboxing of the Life is Strange limited edition for the Xbox One. Um, I decided to get it on Xbox One as opposed to PC because A, I already own it on PC. Um, B, uh, it gives me an excuse to play it again on my Xbox that I never use and get all the achievements. And C, um, that's all of it, actually, so, uh, oh, and I can play it laying in my bed, so that's nice. Um, so, yeah, Life is Strange, um, all-time favorite game ever. I have this, this, uh, Kate Marsh Life is Strange tattoo permanently endowed on my body, for anybody who cares. And, um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of get right into the opening of the box. Alright, so, we're gonna just kind of... Do it all one-handed here. We're doing it live! Okay, so there's a little insert. But, uh, let's see what we got in here. So, the art book. The game. And the piece de resistance. The soundtrack. So, um, that is all that's in the box. Here's the box for the limited edition. Um, it says limited edition on the front. Uh, it doesn't look like the uh, actual console um, case for the game has limited edition on it, which is a little disappointing because I was actually hoping that uh, that this case would say limited edition on it. But, uh, I mean, it's a physical copy of my favorite game of all time. So, oh my god, you have no idea how much I want this. This is the best. So if you can read all that, that's, that's cool. You can pause the video. All right, so... Uh, yeah, let's just take a look at the contacts here in reverse order. We're going to start with the soundtrack. So this is the uh, Life is Strange soundtrack um, containing all the licensed music as well as um, the original music from Jonathan Morelli of Sid Matters. Um, a couple of Sid Matters songs are in the game as well. They are some of the better songs in the game too, like uh, To All of You at the very beginning of the game, uh, the first episode. But um, And there's just a score called... Uh, called Kate, so, so that's perfect, and, um, yeah, this is a nice little soundtrack, I'm assuming the, uh, disc, uh, has some art on it, so I'm gonna pop that open, so, I got the plastic off, let's open her up, and, uh, yeah, that's adorable, so we've got the disc, um, just this soundtrack on it, and then it's got all the, uh, legal mumbo jumbo here, Square Enix Limited, all rights reserved, stuff like that, and then of course a track list inside as well. Um, Twenty-two tracks, including all the licensed songs and the, uh, you know, original songs. Um, there are some licensed songs that it doesn't have, I think, and um, I think the only ones it doesn't have are the ones that were in the um, Dana's room in episode two, I believe, on her radio. So, yep, that's the soundtrack. Sorry, you can see the pizza thing. That is the Life is Strange limited edition soundtrack. Fantastic. And um, here's the adorable little art book uh, styled like Max's journal. Um, this is probably one of the biggest reasons I wanted this, aside from having a physical copy. Um, because I go to a lot of conventions, so I meet a lot of voice actors and stuff, so the chances I'm going to meet the, at least some of the cast from Life is Strange is pretty high, at least in the next, you know, lifetime of mine, so it's nice to just have something to get signed uh, in case. But, uh, yep, so here's the front of the art book. Here's the back of the art book. Featuring adorable little arts. Um, it's very hefty, like the hardcover is really nice. It's really soft, too. So, yep. Max Caulfield, unchecked baggage, and uh, yeah, let's get her open here, and uh, yeah, it's just really nice, it's got a lot of pages, a decent amount of pages, so, yeah, that's something, I don't, I don't want to show you guys the whole art book, because, um, you know, it ruins it, uh, seeing it if, before you have it. I'm sure somebody else has put a, at least pictures or video up of, of the whole art book. 
So, yep, that's the art book and the soundtrack. So those are the two things. And then finally the game on the Xbox One, um, which is the only other current gen console, current gen, quote unquote, that I have. Um, so here's the case, Life's Strange. Uh, it doesn't say limited edition on the cover. Sadly, I think that would have been a nice uh, little thing to differentiate uh, the actual game case from just the standard uh, release of the physical copy. And then here is the back. The game is mature. So, yeah, I'm just going to pop this open. All right, so there we have it, uh, unwrapped and opened up. And Xbox does that weird thing where they have the disc on the left. I, I have no idea why, but that's just how they decided to do it. So the disc is really nice. It's got some nice art on it. Um, it's got the lighthouse, you know, don't nod Square Enix, all that fun stuff. Um, and then the insert is just an upside down human revolution. Um, advertisement as well as a hitman advertisement because the game was published by Square Enix and they want to sell you other stuff so I'm sure Mankind Divided is going to be great but um, yeah there it is that's the entirety of the Life is Strange limited edition and I think for the 40 bucks it's well worth it I mean the game itself uh, don't let Square Enix or don't not hear this is easily worth 40 45 dollars um, the art book alone, probably 20 bucks. CD, 15 bucks. So you're looking at about 45, 70, $80 worth of stuff here, in my opinion, for like $40 Canadian. So I think it was like $30 American. But um, yeah, so this has been the Life Strange limited edition unboxing by Commando on my gaming channel. Um, quick and dirty, not so quick, but dirty. Um, yeah, I just really love Life is Strange. If you haven't picked it up, I highly recommend you pick it up, um, you know, digitally for 20 bucks or the limited edition for 40, you get all this cool swag, um, and you have a physical copy, which is nice. You can bring it to your friend's house and, and, uh, infect them with the Life is Strange disease. I've actually forced so many of my friends to play Life is Strange and now they all love it. So yeah, it's great. And I'll give you guys one more look at my Kate Marsh tattoo, um, for anybody who cares. Got the blue butterflies there. Got the dough. Got the, the game's title there. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. It's greatly appreciated. We'll leave a like if you liked it or a dislike if you disliked it. And uh, go pick up Life is Strange or go play Life is Strange or go listen to the soundtrack. I'm going to be doing all of the above. So...